Okay, so we're working out 36 divided by four on a number line. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restate the calculation. How many fours fit into 36? I'm going to draw a number line. Use the line of your book. I'm gonna label this zero. I'm gonna show you three different ways of using your number line. The first way is to jump and write our numbers. So one jump, one jump of four. Another jump of four takes us to eight. Another jump of four takes us to 12. Another jump of four takes us to 16. I'm writing one in there because it's one jump of four each time. Another jump of four is 20 and I keep going. Now I'm going to stop at 36 because that's my whole. Remember all these are jump, one jump of four. So how many jumps have we got? How many chunks of four fit into 36? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my answer is nine. Next way, another number line, zero. This time, we're gonna keep jumping and counting in fours as we go. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. I'm stopping at 36, because that's my whole. Each of these jumps is one chunk of four. So I can put one in all of those. And then I can fill in the numbers. Oh, 28 and 32. Let's count the chunks again, the jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine fours fit into 36. Right, the final way, draw the number line. Label zero. This time we're going to put the numbers in first, okay? So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. I stopped at 36 because that's what my calculation says. Now I'm going to do the jumps. And actually with this one, we don't need to do the dots because we can count the jumps as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got the same answer. I'm just gonna put one in each jump because it's one chunk of four each time. Okay, a final check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three different ways. They all look the same now, don't they? Which way do you think you'll prefer to use.